Hello everyone, I'm really excited for tonight because tonight we are going to a concert. We are actually going to see The Man Who and if you've never heard of them, I actually highly encourage you to check them out. I will leave all their information in the description box below. We actually discovered The Man Who this past summer at the Canadian Open, if you don't know what that is, it's a golf tournament, and they were playing at like a really small venue that they had there, and there was another girl that also played, but we immediately fell in love with this band. They are a group of guys, they're Canadian. Um, I forget exactly where they're from, but just awesome music, like exactly the type of music that I love. Anyway, so Jack and I have been trying to find um, a concert of theirs that we could go to, and there's been a couple that they've had where I couldn't go and then Jack couldn't go and then one that we were going to go to and then it got cancelled and anyways this is the one that we're going to go to and it is at the Drake Underground um, which I've never been to so if you live in Toronto you know that there's a Drake Hotel. I believe the Drake Underground is just a club that's owned by the Drake Hotel. Um, I've only ever been to the little like brunch spot coffee shop at the Drake Hotel and it was really cute. I don't remember it being anything special, but so I'm really excited for tonight. Um, but I just finished kind of doing my makeup. I actually mixed today my Say Glowy Super Gel. Is that what it's, that what it's called? Glowy Super Gel. Um, and my Giorgio Armani foundation and it is the most like glowy just beautiful finish ever um, because like I said this one's a little bit light for me and so when I mixed it in with this it was perfect I've been mixing all my foundations the past couple weeks to try and find the perfect combination and I think I think I found the one um, but I'm just about to um, get dressed I have no idea what I'm gonna wear tonight what does one wear to a concert in a club I'm just so confused but I have some new jewelry that I got, um, which I'm very, very excited for. So I thought I would open this up for you because I'm gonna wear probably all of these pieces tonight. So let's get into it. I thought I brought my knife in here. I did, I did. Not my knife, oh my God, that sounds terrible. My box cutter. Sorry, break on the jewelry. Our dinner just arrived. Oh, that looks so good. So we ordered shawarma. We got chicken shawarma platter, and then in here, we got a little... You wanna help me? It's a little... Oh my god, it smells so good. <laughs> yeah, a little pita pocket. I think also is shawarma in it. I should have a plate for that. Why is there no vegetables in it? Why don't they just see that? Honestly, I don't know. I thought it would be more. I thought it would have like. Yeah. It's kind of like just like a shawarma mm. Okay. Really good. You want a bite? Yeah. Oh my god. This is amazing. It would be nice with like a salad or something though. Mm -hmm. Like something fresh. Mm -hmm. mm. This is good though. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can eat all this. Oh. I'm back now, sorry. It's just um, Jack and I have had a very busy working day and we were hoping that we'd get around to cooking dinner tonight, but it instead turned into ordering, um, as you can tell, quickly eating, and then both of us getting back to work. But now I'm back in here and I wanna open up this um, Missouri package with you guys. And I wanna tell you guys a story because I don't think I've ever told you this, but before I was an influencer and I was just your regular old university student, okay? I would take the subway and at the time, Missouri had tons and tons of ads on the subway. And I remember transiting one day and seeing this ad and the ad was a beautiful woman wearing diamonds and the ad said, diamonds for your damn self. And I was like, yes, you know, my feminist self was like, I love it. And that's when I kind of discovered that the concept of Missouri is just, you know, having your own autonomy. And instead of waiting for someone to gift you stuff, gifting yourself stuff. 
like diamonds and so I want to show you today some diamonds and the reason I'm showing you diamonds and before I get any further I do want to say that I'm actually working with Missouri in this part of the video which as always I am so proud to say um, but the reason I'm showing you diamond goodies today is because Missouri is having one of their first ever diamond sales. So that means that between February 1st and the 7th, you'll be able to get 15% off all diamond pieces from Missouri, which is so exciting because if you know me and what I wear from Missouri, you will know that I wear a lot of diamonds. I have my tennis bracelet. I have my Charlotte um, ring um, with diamonds in it. It's one of my favorite pieces from Missouri. I think they do such a beautiful job with diamonds. So I got myself a few pieces and I wanted to show you not only my personal favorite diamond pieces from Missouri, but also a couple new inspo pieces. That way you can get yourself the damn diamonds. I hope I'm allowed to say that, but um, yeah, so. Let me show you. First piece that I want to show you, and I have it boxed up so you can see what it would look like. And now this right here would be my number one recommendation, not only for the sale, but just from Missouri in general. This is truly one of my absolute favorite pieces, and it's something that I wear every single day. Pause the video and see if you can guess what it's gonna be. <laughs> this is the large diamond necklace. So this is a 14 karat gold chain necklace. And then you're gonna have your diamond. This one right here is the large diamond. Missouri does offer a smaller diamond, which is, I'm actually wearing the white gold and the yellow gold together. Um, so that's the smaller size, so you can see it's a little bit smaller than the large one, but my personal favorite is the large. So when you're shopping the sale and you're looking to treat yourself with something, this is my personal recommendation. Right here, right here. Um, and I know so many of you have gotten this piece, but it is truly such a classic time piece. And for myself speaking, you guys know my thing with jewelry. I wear it, I don't take it off. Um, I do everything in these necklaces. I shower, I work out in them. Not recommended, but that is the truth. That's how I wear my jewelry. And it stands the test of life, really, I guess. Um, so that is my number one recommendation for gifting yourself. And um, on a side note, this will arrive before Valentine's Day. So don't wait for your loved ones to get you your necklace. Get yourself the necklace and treat yourself to a little something special. The next piece is actually one that was widely inspired by my tennis bracelet right here, as you can see. Um, now, the moment I got this, I actually got this intending it to wear for a special event and then I ended up just keeping it on and I don't take it off. I do everything in my tennis bracelet, which is terrible. But again, I like to live in my jewelry and so I keep it on every day. So this one was very much inspired by that. Um, and for those of you who maybe don't wanna go as far as the full diamond tennis bracelet, then this is gonna be a great alternative. But this is the Pave diamond bar um, bracelet. So let me show it to you. So same here, you're gonna have a 14 karat gold chain with an adjustable um, length. So we've got three little options there. So if you've got really tiny wrists, this is gonna be a great option for you. And then of course you have your little diamond bar. It's gonna be that super dainty piece. I'm gonna have to call in Jack to help me with the, with the bracelet. But you're gonna have that super, super dainty, dainty piece. It's gonna look so beautiful. So if you're looking again for that really classic diamond piece, <laughs> now, you guys know I love rings and I love matching sets. And so to go with that is the diamond line ring. So you've got a 14 karat gold band with diamonds set in there. Now, I want to show you how I would wear this. How sweet is that? So now the reason I picked this particular ring up is because it is so simple and dainty. So you've got three little diamonds in there. One, two, three, four, five, six little tiny diamonds in there. And the way that I would wear this is I would actually stack it with a really, really simple ring um, like this one right here, also from Missouri. I'll link it down below. So <laughs> this is the two beautiful rings and how I would personally wear it. I love how dainty and classy it is. Just so, so beautiful and minimal. And now one other piece that I wanna show you, which is another personal recommendation of mine, and that would be the Pave Diamond um, Charlotte 
soft ring. This has been one that I wear every single day, haven't taken it off. I know I've mentioned it multiple, multiple times, but it truly is one of my favorite rings from Missouri. Um, and it is just a stunner of a ring. So if you wanna utilize the 15% off, I would highly recommend using it on that as well. Those are the few new pieces that I got and also shared with you a few of my favorites. I can't tell you how exciting it is that they're gonna have a full week long sale on just diamonds. How exciting is that? But anyways, I will be sure to link down all the pieces that I just got as well as the ones that I mentioned because um, those are, like I said, my personal, personal recommendations. But now I have to get ready for the rest of my night. Ooh, I don't know what to wear for tonight, but at least I got my jewelry sorted, don't we? <laughs> right, let's go pick an outfit. I'm just putting final touches on. I'm actually wearing this Jonathan Sinkai dress. I had no idea what to wear. <laughs> We've been running around like chickens for the last I don't know, half an hour trying to figure out what we're gonna wear. We should have left by now, but I'm just finishing up my outfit. So I just added a little bit of this Dior lipstick. I don't know the shade to be honest, but it's like a nice nude. Most on like the brown tint side. And then fragrance. I'm doing Valentino tonight because it feels, feels fitting. <laughs> Right. I'm gonna add a little bit more mascara. I'm all ready to go. I actually ended up switching my necklace to just my little Missouri diamond necklace because well, my eyebrows are crazy, oh my God. Um, but I ended up switching into my diamond necklace. I wasn't feeling like myself in that other one, so I switched it, I feel much better. But we are gonna go catch the Uber now and head to the concert. I will tape a little bit on my phone. I don't wanna take my camera, it doesn't fit my little Valentino bag and I don't wanna risk losing it. There's too much good stuff in here. Anyways, yeah, okay, let's go. Hello everyone, I'm just finishing to get myself ready. I'm adding my Nord Green watch. I think someone asked about my watch in last vlog or the vlog before that, I'm not sure. Um, but the watches that I always, always wear are Nord Green and this one here is actually my Unica gold face with my brown leather strap. It has been the watch that I have been wearing nonstop because it's so, so comfy. Um, so yeah, but I'm just finishing up makeup, hair. I did a nice slicked back bun today because, well, my hair is dirty. So it's all you're getting today. <laughs> and a spritz of my Caudalie Elixir because my skin is so dry, but it's been feeling better. I've been really diligent with my skincare recently and my skin has felt mwah, chef's kiss. I also have a product to show you. Now, for the best, oh, it's been a while, but I have been using this Fresh Floral Recovery Calming Mask and it's supposed to even skin tone and texture and she has been my secret weapon alongside Totally. Um, in fact, I am almost, almost out of this one. You can see, very close to being done. Thankfully, I have a backup ready to go because it's been so good. But now, although this is a mask, I actually use this as an overnight mask. I use this during the day and I mix it in with my moisturizers and it truly does just that. It evens out your skin tone and you guys know I get lots of redness on my cheeks. And for me to go without makeup, I like to feel like I don't have any redness or texture. Um, that is truly what makes me feel good. And right here, highly, highly recommend. So, so wonderful. Doesn't really have a strong scent if you're someone who is like sensitive to strong scents. It truly smells very like natural i guess um but anyway sorry i just wanted to tell you guys that because i have been using that product really really recently like quite a lot and it's been amazing but what i wanted to do today is actually sit down with you and show you some things that i've been buying and i know i chatted with you guys in my first video this year saying that i wasn't really gonna do hauls and that's true. I don't feel like I'm going to do hauls anymore, but I am going to show you genuinely in real time the pieces that I'm buying and why I'm buying them because 
like everybody else and like you guys, I buy items when I have events, when I have places to go to, and I always try to be as mindful as possible when I make those purchases. So with Valentine's Day coming out, neither me nor Jack are huge Valentine's Day celebrators. We go on dates all the time. We think it's so important to find that time with your partner to just have meaningful conversation and meaningful quality time. And so we're using Valentine's Day as an excuse to do something extra special. <laughs> so I bought a few things um, for Valentine's Day. I also bought a couple things just that I felt like I was missing in my wardrobe. So that's what we're gonna do today. And we've got loads of different price points in here because for me, the reality of my wardrobe is that I have tons of different price points because I buy what I like. Anyways, so let's get started. Oh, should I start with Valentine's Day first? Or I'm gonna go situated and then we can get started. All right, let's start off with the thing that I'm most excited about. And also, I didn't tell you where my shirt is from if you're wondering today. This one is actually from Totem. Um, and like I mentioned, Totem is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite brands. But um, I feel like I could have found this shirt elsewhere for like a lower price, just as good quality. Um, but will I say their jeans and trousers, unbeatable, like no one else compares, honestly, so far, so far. Um, so yeah, totem for jeans and trousers, shirts. Oh, sweaters, oh my God, my sweater from totem is really good. Anyways, let's start off with shoes. I will say I will try and link these, um, but they were the last pair in my size, half price. So these gals, we're getting chatted about first. Um, so I was browsing through Farfetch as I always do, because I love Farfetch. Um, so she is a Canadian girly, okay? Farfetch is a lifesaver. And these will be my Valentine's Day shoe. These are the newest addition to my wardrobe. Um, and it's all gonna make sense in a couple minutes, I promise. So these are a pair of Manola Blahniks, Um, And these are the Maisley heel. They're just so stunning. So these are the 65 millimeter heel height. So not a lot of heel going on there. These are the newest addition to my wardrobe. And they feel like such a fun color, honestly. Um, this year I just wanna focus on things that inspire me and make my life feel special. So these are purchase number one. Obviously these come in so many colors. They come in all your neutrals. So I'm really excited to tell you guys how comfortable these are compared to like the four inchers because I personally find Manila Blahniks the most comfortable heels out there. So I'm curious to see how these will be comfort wise. But yes, that is item number one that I purchased and I'm really excited. So now let me show you the item that went alongside those shoes. The next few items are actually going to be from Zara. Now I haven't purchased from Zara in quite some time. I truly hadn't just seen anything that felt special or like the quality was there until I saw this gorgeous dress. Oh, how beautiful. So this is a midi length knit dress. Now it does come with a slip. Actually, let me grab it for you. So this is the slip that it actually comes with a really, really beautiful like satin slip so that'll go underneath it and it looks very, very beautiful. Obviously with these types of dresses, you can wear them with the slips that they come with or you can always buy your own. I have some of my own like skim slips that I can tuck underneath this, but the fact that it comes with a slip is amazing. But after I had seen those purple shoes, I stumbled into this dress and I just knew that it was gonna be the perfect combination, so, so stunning. Um, and I have to say, I can't wait to show you guys this dress on. It goes with every single pair of shoes and handbag. If you know, it even goes with my Fendi bag and shoes. Um, so even though this color is probably like, Sam, what the heck color are you buying? It goes with everything. It goes with black, it goes with beige, it goes with brown. It is just the perfect color for my particular wardrobe. And I can't wait to show it to you on. The dress that just, oh, I so fell in love with. So as you can see, it's a beautiful like knit dress. I am wearing the slip that it came with underneath and I paired it with my Fendi bag, Fendi shoes, finally getting some use out of them. And now I'd love to have my hair down with this dress, but obviously right now it is up and I still love it. The detail of this dress is just beautiful. Absolutely love it. It's like, 
modern but classic and a little bit fun i feel like some days i just want to feel adventurous and fun and then we've got my beautiful new manolos now these are the types of outfits that you guys are going to be seeing me in all summer long my classic pieces this is a beautiful um oh, what was this called i think it's the button up shirt from aritzia super super old my white totem jeans and then just some fun comfortable shoes i've never really worn heels this slow i'm not gonna lie but it feels classic and comfortable but still beautiful and special at the same time i always want to feel special and i feel like i don't know this outfit is just doing it for me okay and just to show you the shoes from a close-up very very low but they look so beautiful and classy at the same time i love it now i will have to update you on comfort because i can already feel the shoe hitting me right here i think if i Yep, you can already see a little bit of redness here. So, I'm curious to see how the walking with this area and this area is going to be. But, I will definitely update you on this particular style of shoe. Because like I said, I know that they have this style of shoe in so many different colors. They have all the classics, like your nudes, your blacks, your grays, your browns even. Um, so, yeah, I'll definitely update. But, so far... I couldn't be happier with them. They look so, so beautiful. Oh, I love them. What do you guys think? These next two pieces is actually a super cute little set. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this set yet. I want to try it on and see what you guys think. The first piece is this beautiful blazer. It, um, it very much feels like that classic um, Christian Dior print. Oops, that's buttoned up incorrectly there. One second. Sorry, there you go, I can see it properly. Um, so that is the blazer there, it is double breasted. It does feel like a beautiful kind of tweed material. It is fully, fully lined, which is something I always wanna see. Um, and it's got a beautiful like heft and structure to it. Um, it also fits really, really nicely. The one thing I noticed about this one is that, as you can see here, it kind of cinches in at the waist a little bit. If you're looking for something to like really accentuate your waist, this blazer is gonna do it. It actually fits really, really beautifully. Um, and then it came with some super cute little matching shorts. Now, obviously, these are gonna be a little bit hard to wear right now in the winter, but I can just envision this in the summer with like white sneakers and my um, my Dior saddle bag. Again, the quality is really, really beautiful. I was really, really um, worried about the shorts because Zara shorts on me hardly ever fits. They usually are too small in the bum and too big in the waist but i will say these fit really really well i got a small in these and a small in the blazer as well and i just think this set is brilliant and if you're someone who lives in a warmer climate for valentine's day like a red lip a simple strappy heel that was jack's um personal preference there like a, he picked out my oh what shoe was it that he picked out he picked out my strappy christian louboutins and he was so right they looked so good with this just like a very strong outfit and then really like simple sexy heels it looked gorgeous he's got good taste anyways next up we have a package from anthropology now i've actually been I have recently like fallen in love with anthropology all over again because I really love all their furniture and I'm constantly on there looking for furniture even though it's, it's a little bit expensive. Their stuff is gorgeous. And I have never really tried their clothing. Um, have I? I don't think I ever have. I don't think I own anything from anthropology. No, I don't think I do. So I really wanted to try their clothing because it was very similar to Aritzia's pricing and um, my only complaint with them is that all their pricing is in USD on their website so it's a little bit harder as a Canadian to kind of see exactly how much you're paying um, so anthropology if you can please show prices in Canadian it would be super helpful um, but let me show you what I got now I took a peek in here earlier and I want to say I'm missing one of the items that I purchased and so hopefully that's coming in the near future which is too bad because that's the one I wanted for Valentine's Day but that's okay anyways the first item that I got um, is this gorgeous sweater and this was actually supposed to be back ordered so I'm impressed that it arrived but it's this super cozy cardigan 
and it actually has no buttons or anything. I'm gonna have to try this properly on, not with an orange shirt underneath. Oh, Sam, it's not gonna look good. But I envisioned this with a white tank top, my white totem jeans, and it is just like the coziest thing ever. I will say it is the softest thing ever. Oh my God. Um, oh, it's so cozy. And it does come in a couple other colorways. I will have to show it to you properly. Anyways, I will show you all of these properly because I'm sure I wasn't doing it justice there. Um, now my only, one major, major downside to this one is that it is a one size only, and I'm not sure why brands are still doing one size um, items because we are not all one size. But anyways, let's not, let's not get into that. Um, the next item that I bought is a pair of black trousers. I lied, are these blue? Oh gosh, they look blue. No, they are black, but they look blue. Anyways, these are called the Mave. Mave? Mave trousers? They look a little big. But these are the Mave trousers from Anthropology, and they do come in loads and loads of different colors. But again, they have beautiful front pleats. They are a beautiful, like, wide leg um, trouser. And I did get them in the regular length, so I'm curious to see how these fit and if I'm gonna have to have them tailored. I hope not. Um, the quality does feel really, really beautiful. A couple loose threads in some of the seams um but i'm really excited to try these on and i had ordered a beautiful black and white striped shirt to go with these and um, and it hasn't arrived so when it arrives i'll show it to you but yeah i'm really excited to try these on look how wide that looks oh so exciting um <laughs> i know megan markle is a a um touchy subject and as the beautiful lady in my comments said don't come for me please but it is a huge compliment when people compare me to her because I think she has impeccable fashion sense. I'm not commenting on her morals. I'm not commenting on anything else. Just her style is truly, truly gorgeous. The wide leg pants, the shirts, the boots, oh, everything about it. I love it. So um, thank you to that person. You know who you are that commented that. It's very flattering for me. Anyways. This is the Anthropology sweater, and I've just paired it with a Skims bodysuit, my white totem jeans, and my Vejas, and this is exactly the type of item I wanted. Something that I could throw on would be a bit of a statement piece, um, but also something that was going to be super cozy and just super cute. I love that it's actually like two different colors on both sides, um, but you could wear this like I have worn it or just with a total white outfit underneath would look absolutely awesome oh so cozy i'll get closer so you can see but oh how comfy is that oh i absolutely love it and these are the mave pants from anthropology now i've added no belt and hardly any accessories because i wanted to show you what they look like without anything now i got these size twos in the black, and I have to say, these do not look black. I'm gonna have to um, try these on tomorrow morning in like natural daylight, but even now they look super close to my Dior book tote. Um, so they look navy blue. Um, now I got the size two, and I do have a little bit of room in the waist, which I don't mind. I actually like that. That means I can eat and live in them. So I wouldn't size down in these. Um, although if you like something a little bit snugger, then I would probably go down a size. And in terms of length, I am wearing four inch heels right now and I am five foot three. And these are absolute perfection. Like couldn't fit any better in terms of length. Now, if I wanted to wear these with um, sneakers or flats, then I would have to get them hemmed. And I am unsure as to what to do, but I will say the quality is beautiful. The fit is stunning. My only complaint with these is the color is a little off. I'm not sure if these are black. These are definitely not black. This is a black skirt. And these are the bl supposed black pants. Definitely not black. And it does say black noir right there, color. So I'm not sure what's going on there. So, conclusion, if you're looking for new wide leg trousers, these are them. They are absolutely stunning, um, and I will link them down below because they have so many other colors. I will, without a doubt, be buying more of these pants in different colors um, and maybe just getting them hemmed to different lengths. That way I can wear them 
for different events, but oh, absolutely stunning. It's a yes from me. <laughs> And now we have the suit, which, oh, it's amazing. Fits so beautifully, so I've paired it with just a little tank from Aritzia, the matching shorts, of course, and then just some black pumps. Now, if you wanted to wear this now for my Canadian ladies, um, I would say grab a pair of sheer tights, black leather boots, and you've got a more winter-friendly outfit. Obviously, if you're going from like the car to the restaurant, um, so long you have your coat, you'll be fine. People always ask me like, how do you wear these outfits? And the reality is if you're walking outside for 10 seconds, it doesn't really matter what you're wearing because you're not gonna freeze to death. Um, you just have to be comfortable wherever it is that you're going. But anyways, I digress. Um, this is the jacket. Again, I'm gonna show you that it fits very, very beautifully. Um, so if you are looking for something that's gonna give you a little bit more of that like feminine shape, then this is it. Oh, how cute is that? Obviously my little Lady Dior, she's over here. <laughs> and I would add myself, my Lady Dior, I've got my black hot chick, um, Christian Louboutins, and you've got the perfect little suit. Obviously I will be wearing this with sneakers in the summer and a shirt and at the crossbody strap and I've got the perfect like Saturday, Sunday going out outfit. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I'm very impressed with this quality and fit um, from Zara. And these are the shorts from the Zara set. Now I wanted to show you these kind of on their own and to show you how well they actually fit. Now, obviously all women are built differently and I'm one that has a smaller waist and slightly bigger hips, so not all Zara shorts always fit me, but these fit me wonderfully. They are not too tight on the bum or too big on the waist. They're perfectly. Now I've paired them with this purple shirt and my new Manolos, and of course this is a very summery outfit, um, but this is the way that I would wear the shorts in the summer, and of course my little Lady Dior. But again, it's that super, super comfy outfit. You can absolutely, and I will 110%, be swapping out the shoes for some white sneakers, and it looks super smart, but also super fun and feminine, and I just, I love it. These next two things are actually PR, and they are from Holland Cooper, so thank you so much, Holland Cooper. I'm always so thankful for all your little gifts. Um, and for full transparency here, although Holland Cooper has gifted me these items, I actually personally picked them out uh, because I wanted pieces that were gonna go in my own wardrobe. So the first piece that I picked out is this beautiful chocolate brown basket weave sweater. Now you all know, one of my favorite things from Holland Cooper is their knitted sweaters. I think they are so gorgeous, such high quality. The buttons, everything from the seams, there's just no loose ends. The attention to detail is unlike, honestly, anything else. Um, and so I picked this new um, kind of finish. You can see it's got like a beautiful, basket weave finish and I went with the chocolate brown color because I wanted it to go with my Holland Cooper jacket. Um, I think I showed it to you in one of the Vlogmas videos but it's a little bit more of a casual coat and I wanted something that was going to go beautifully with that. So that was the first thing that I got. Oh and I got this in a size small by the way. All my Holland Cooper sweaters are I believe a size small. Now very exciting next item. So, as I mentioned in a video prior, I am very nitpicky with um, boots. I've never been a boot person. I find them very uncomfortable, very clunky, very heavy. Um, and the only boots that I've ever really comfortably been able to wear are my hunter boots. Now, I'm not talking about leather boots. Leather boots are very comfortable. We're talking about like practical boots here. Um, and so the only boots I've ever really been able to wear are my hunter boots. I have worn them for years and years and years and I feel like I've been seeing them trickle back into like um, like Instagram. I feel like maybe they're coming back. But um, I got really curious about Holland Cooper's um, Wellington boots. So I kindly asked if I could try a pair and um, try them out so I could give you guys my input and compare them to Hunter, honestly. Um, so, because I already had, because I already had a black pair of boots, I went with these gorgeous 
like army green wellington boots um but as you can see they are on the chunkier side so they're not quite as like refined as my usual hunter boots um, they've got lots of little details on the sole, um, a cute little buckle, which I love. I love buckle details on my boots. Phenomenal buckle here, and then the HC logo in the front. Now, my favorite part about these is they are lined. They are lined all the way through. Jack stuck his hand in these today, and he goes, oh, they're lined all the way through, and I go, yes, yes, they are. <laughs> um, so if you wanted, um, oops, they're shedding a little bit, but if you wanted, you could absolutely wear these with no socks. I know a lot of women um, that I've seen that own these boots actually don't wear them with socks, so I'm very, very excited to wear these. And again, in my head, these were gonna go beautifully with my Holland Cooper coat and the new sweater. Beautiful, beautiful, like, country colors. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited. Now, I do wanna make a comment about these. My mom has always struggled with um, boots fitting around her calves and unfortunately this style didn't fit on her so she got the shorter style. Um, so Holland Cooper does have a more of like an ankle boot style which goes just a little bit above your ankle like a two to three inches above your ankle. Um, now I myself have always preferred taller boots so I got myself the taller pair and I do have quite a bit of room um, in my calf area, but again, I, I, I don't have very big calves. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. These are not abnormally large in the calf area. They're quite um, quite generic in that, in that sense. So yeah, anyways, that is the last thing that I got and I want to show you, I'm really excited. I want to put all of this stuff on right now and show it to you guys because Oh, I feel like I'm back in a great groove where I can just show you things that I love and that I'm gonna wear and I'm very excited. And now we have my Holly Cooper outfit. And honestly, I have not a single negative thing to say about this outfit. But let's start off with the new sweater. So this is the new sweater. It's got a beautiful basket weave. Now I paired it with just some Lululemon pants. And what I do love about this sweater is that you can roll it down or as you saw, I was wearing it. I just kind of rolled it up and it stays like that. And then the turtleneck comes up nice and high. So if you do love turtlenecks that are lower, you're not gonna like this. I'm just putting that out there, but I love a good high turtleneck because it keeps my neck nice and warm. My coat, now I got this coat for myself a few months back and it has been the best purchase. It's so, so amazing. It obviously is not for super, super cold temperatures. I can't wear this in like negative 10, negative 15, negative 20, but anything kind of around this uh, freezing point and a little bit above negative 10, it's amazing, especially if I layer. And now we have the new boots, which I absolutely love and they go so well with this coat. What I loved about this coat is it had undertones of green um, and I really wanted those like browns and greens. I feel like it was inspired by my apartment, <laughs> but um, yeah, I love these boots and they are super, super cozy. They're definitely going to be warmer than my hunter boots because my hunter boots are not lined and I have to always be very diligent to wear very thick, warm socks, so wool socks is what I typically wear. Um, with these, they're gonna be super cozy, and if I do wear socks over and above the Sherpa, they're gonna be extra, extra warm. But yeah, so this is how I would style these boots. Very like casual and comfy. I feel like this is a good outfit for when I go back down to Cambridge, but um, yeah. Anyways, I love this, I really, really do. I think I'm going to leave this vlog here. Um, and I will try and leave all the items that I got in the description box alongside my sizes. Um, of course, I will be, I will try my absolute best to answer all your questions about sizing and fit and stuff. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this. And let me know if you guys enjoyed this kind of layout. Um, not so much in like an isolated haul style video, just more chatty and I don't know. I feel like it feels more authentic for me, for me at least. So anyways, let me know. Leave me your thoughts down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.